Federal health officials began monitoring patients in quarantine and self-isolation through the Hubcat app on Monday. Physician and public health specialist Dr. Sharita Moxie says people who are being monitored have been identified for home isolation through the repatriation exercise or identified as cases or contacts through contact tracing. Officials moved to employ tracing after they were unable to contact about 15 people who were supposed to be in self-isolation at home. We have uh, 30 persons that are currently registered and um, being monitored uh, via Hubcat. Uh, our list, though, um, includes some 100 persons. We are still uh, seeking to onboard uh, the remainder of those persons, so that would be the the, the difference. Uh, we're hoping to onboard those within the next day or two um, so that we would reach that 100 uh, target. We know that with um, continuing repatriation exercises um, and with persons um, being approved for travel into the various family islands, that that number will increase. Now, Dr. Moxie says if there are more confirmed cases and contacts of cases, the number of people being monitored will increase. She says the app is also being used to monitor residents who wish to return to the family islands. We are actually in discussions with the telecommunications company. One of them have actually already confirmed that they will zero rate the data uh, for their clients so that it will be um, really no cost to uh, those clients using the system. We have had no um, alerts, uh, and by that I mean we have had no notifications of people um, going beyond their virtual boundaries. Um, uh, they have, though, we, we are also using uh, that mechanism to reach out to individuals uh, being monitored um, to ensure that their, their health status remains um, uh that they remain well, um, and so it is, it, is, it is going well. We have a team of officers that are involved in the process um, who reach out uh, to uh, those being monitored. Um, today would just be the, the second day.